Hello and welcome back. This is video number two. And in this video, we're going to talk about analyzing your audience. So like I said beforehand, before you can go ahead and create content, which is what most people do, you need to have a good picture of who your audience is, what their dislikes are, what their likes are, and all of that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be using a tool that's free called Facebook Audience Insights. And what this tool is, is it's a very powerful tool that has tons of data on your audience. And it'll allow us to gain a clearer view of your demographics, who it is, are they male or female, are they a certain age, what do they like, what do they do not like, and things like that. So we're gonna keep it simple and give you some real life examples and it's not gonna be complex, all right? So let's jump right in. Okay, so right now I am at the Facebook Audience Insights, and to get to this page, all you need to do is simply go to facebook.com slash ads slash audience dash insights. You'll log into your Facebook account and you'll be able to access this page. Now, if you want a direct link and the link changes, you can always go to google.com and simply type in Facebook Audience Insights and it'll direct you to that specific page. Okay, so what this tool does, like I said, is it allows you to analyze your audience. And we want to have a more granular, very specific idea of who that might be. Now, when you start this up, you're going to see it says choose an audience to start. You can do everyone on Facebook, which is what we're going to do. Or you can have the option of people who are connected to your page. Now, if you do have a Facebook fan page, this is nice to have because this will give you an idea of exactly who your audience is that is connected to your page. Now, in this example, we're going to choose everyone on Facebook. And there we go. Now, by default, it will most likely list your location. If we want to target a person of a specific location, you will enter that here. Then you can enter the minimum age to the maximum age. Now, we don't want to do this just yet. What I normally do is we scroll down and we enter an interest. And based upon that, we will get a better idea of the demographics. So let's say, for example, people that are interested in a specific arts and crafts. Let's say, for example, knitting. So we're going to enter knitting. So we see that here. We're going to select that. And we see this over here. So as you can see, I did not choose any of this. I simply entered the keyword and then I got this information here. So based upon Facebook, Facebook is saying that there are about five to six million people in the United States of America that are interested in knitting. Now you can change that location to something like Australia, to Canada, to a different location. But for now, we're simply just interested in the types of people. So the demographics here, we can see that the age and gender, 88% are women and 12% are men. So based upon this, we can see that knitting, it's mostly women. All right. So because it's mostly women, we are going to want to target women. So the images that we have need to attract women. Now, if it's 50-50, you might want to choose images that are specific to that interest. So when we take a look at the age, we can see that even though it's women, the majority of them are actually in the 25 all the way down to 64 and more. So we got 19%, 20%, 19%, 19%, 17%. 
Now, this is 7%, which tells us that the age group from 18 to 24 is a little bit interested, but not as much. In fact, we can see for males is 30% here, which I would never have known. And that's why guessing who your audience is, whether they're male or female, and all of that information by yourself is actually quite dangerous. So you really need to use this tool. So we can see relationship status. We can see that the majority of them are married. The majority of them have a college education level. We can see job title. We can see that the majority of them are 31% administrative services. The second one is sales. And the third one is management. So this allows us to kind of paint a picture. Now, if you want to zoom in on a specific age group and gender, you can simply click that area of the block. So let's say, for example, that we want to focus on people that are 25 to 34, or actually let's pick the one that's highest, 20%, 35 to 44. So if you click that, what Facebook will do is it'll hone in on this specific group. Now, when we click that, we can see that about 900 thousand to about a million people are in this specific group. Now, if we scroll down, we can see it's about the same married college education level, administration services management. And that's interesting because remember we saw sales being the one of the third highest. When we look at this specific group, we can see that it is non-existent. So what you want to do here is simply write down what you see. So we're going to talk about page likes and all of this in a different video. But for now, let's keep it simple. 